Okay, here we are on the runway with the Mickey Mouse One ready to take off for New York. We've got to get going, we've got to get going, we're behind schedule and it's my responsibility to get us on this plane and get us to New York within an hour. Let's go. I've just come from Michael Bonifer. His vital signs are normal. He's up doing company business on his tray this morning and he quipped that uh, if he'd been treated this well at the studio, he never would have left. Now I'll take any questions that there might be. Oh, the show was wonderful in Syracuse. They loved us in Syracuse. But on the whole, I'd rather be in Philadelphia. Hi, John Lasseter reporting from the Dallas airport. We are about ready to get on Mickey Mouse 1. And I see right here, about ready to load, is Willie Reitherman, famous you? Disney I don't, animator. I don't remember you at all. Willie, how did this how did the show go? It went lousy. Did you it? Know? Yeah. Why, you were why? Tell us. Okay. Well there was this guy at Lasseter that got on there and he kept really? talking and oh. talking and talking. That's too and bad. That's, the way it was. Yeah. that's really yeah. that's really hey, come horrible. Over here, Janie. Well, that's his new yeah. camera. I'm not come gonna on. I don't believe it. Keith Cheney, Keith Cheney. It's a dolly shot. It's a dolly shot, that's right. Keith Cheney related to the wolf man. Here. Say something. See the band of nails? How'd it go? Hey, how was the projection booth in Dallas? Wonderful. Was it really? I have to go now. Tom, how was the show in Dallas? Tell us. Vice well, President, Creative Affairs. It was all pretty good, except, uh, except for your part. Really? Willie said the same thing. Why was that? Well, it's because, um, I don't know, you, you talk pretty badly about the studio, I thought. Really? And about, about all the top executives of the company. Really? Yeah. And well, Walt. Walt, well... I mean, Walt's dead, we missed it, you know, so. Uh, I'm Hen Culhane, and I've joined this tour of yesterday in New York. We're going to Boston and Washington. On this trip, just to get to know you all, I have six, six men accompanying me. Praise God. Here we are at Newark Airport with uh, Mike Bonifer, Walt Disney's production. So we just flew in from Columbus, Ohio on Mickey Mouse One. How was the flight, Mike? Quickly. The flight was good and it was quick. And we're in New York now, and, and these are the tickets, or these are the itineraries, and they're real thick. And, and I think things are going to be going real well here, and we're real excited to be in New York. There is never going to be a renaissance in animation until we get away from always having talking animals. What people want to see is talking lamps. Lamps are the things that people come to animation to see. We're lost. We're here in New Jersey looking for the Newark Airport. We're lost right now, but we're on a service road and we're going past a lot of factories here. You might be able to see them in the background. There's a Holiday Inn. And I think that there's a good chance, if nothing else, we can probably take um, maybe a barge to Boston. Because this thing can really go for days. Oh, well, really? I think, uh, I think we're making awfully good time, but I think we're lost. <laughs> I, uh, this is one of the holiday inns that I've never, I've never seen, and I really love it. Hi, I think we're lost, too. What do you think, Tom? I like it here. Let's skip Boston. 